Hello. Oh, that's Jack and Dottie practicing a few dance steps back there, but you'll get to meet them later. You can probably tell what I'm going to talk to you about today, and that is about dancing, the do's and don'ts of dancing. And I'm very happy to have this opportunity to talk to you because every day I get letters from women all over the country wanting to know what is right and what is not right on the dance floor. They want to know what to wear and they want to know what to do and how to prepare themselves for the big occasions like a ball or their country club dance. So today I'm going to answer all of your questions and all at once. Let me give you a few rules. First of all, don't wait until the last minute and then go rummaging around your closet looking for things. But do prepare yourself at least one week beforehand. And it's a good idea on the morning of the dance to lay everything out just as you see Dottie doing right now. Plan to take your bath just before you get dressed. And this is the way to do it. Apply a little facial cream and then get into your tub. Oh, and here's a warning. Don't let the water be any hotter than 96 degrees. It will just devitalize you and you'll be tired for the whole evening. Now you're dressed and you're all ready. As a last touch, just put a little perfume on some cotton and put it down inside of your dress as you see Dottie doing now. It's a good hint and I'm glad I can pass it on to you. Now about your costume. Uh-oh, Dottie is wearing sequins. Look what can happen. Please, girls, don't wear any sequins or belts or anything that can get caught in your escort's jackets, on his buttons. It's most embarrassing for both parties. The length of your skirt, too, is important. Make sure that your skirt is one half inch above the floor because, look, this is what can happen. Oh, dear. Oh, Paul, I wonder if you could help me demonstrate what happens when a woman goes dancing with this type of handbag. Glad to, Miss Holden. Many's the time I've been bruised by a handbag like that. <laughs> I know what you mean. See what happens? Uh-huh. I know this is a little exaggerated, but it does happen this way, doesn't it, Paul? <laughs> That's bruised off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Ladies, if you are going to go dancing in an afternoon dress, take along a small handbag like this. They're easy to handle and they're compact. And now for hats. If you're going to a garden party, this is fine. But you can see as well as I can see that it's much too big to try to dance in. Also, this might fool you. It looks small, but look what can happen. Paul? Huh? Well. <laughs> you see what I mean, ladies? <laughs> there you are. Also, if you're going to wear flowers in your hair, not this big. Not this big. The best thing to wear at all times in your hair when you're going dancing is something small, a small hat, small flowers, and even small jewels on combs in your hair. The wrong shoes can definitely spoil your evening. Platform sole shoes might be nice to walk in, but they're certainly not right to dance in. Here's why. They're apt to be front heavy, and you'll lean against your partner and stick way out and back. Another thing, when you're dancing, it's very difficult to tell the difference between the floor and your partner's hole. You see? Going to the other extreme, flat heel shoes are just as bad. They throw your weight way back and you lean away from your partner. Two, you have to stand very high on your toes for the evening and that is very tiring. And now for the correct shoe. Make sure it's light in weight, preferably a sandal. Now, how would you like a few pointers on how to follow your partner? Watch. You notice where she places her hand. The reason for that is that she can follow the man wherever he moves. This is not the only contact. That's not the only place that the woman gets to leave. Her elbow, too, is down, down on the man's elbow. She can feel it every time he raises or drops. This is very unbecoming. It's not only bad dancing, it doesn't look pretty. So, that's all we have time for. I hope I've answered most of your questions. And it's been wonderful being with you. Happy dancing!